Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1986 and 1999 to listen to Silver Moon and Wanderlust by the amazing David Sylvian. So excited to check out more from his solo career. I absolutely love the first few songs I discovered a few months ago. We'll start with Silver Moon. Comes from the album Gone to Earth, his third studio album, a double album. It was the second single from the album and reached number 83 in the UK. It highlights the complexities and uncertainties of love. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button, as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community, where it's all amazing music all the time. And a reminder to check out my Patreon page for exclusive reactions not found here on YouTube, no time error restrictions, and one full album reaction every month. Link is in the description below. All right, here we go. I know David's vibes. I wish I could be in complete darkness for this reaction. Not possible, of course, but I think I'll do something with the brightness on the final product, make it lower than normal to kind of fit the mood because his mood is special. Yeah. 
Yes, it's those extra touches, those added bonuses that they put at the end there. They could have ended it, but no, they give you these. I think they were synth notes, you know, wisping about here and there into my ears, taking us out. Just extra thought put into his song. But of course, many beautiful layers here in the emotions. Ah. The pocket he puts me in, the state of mind he puts me in is incredible. I know a lot of his songs are going to do that to me. It happened here in full force, and I love being in that state of mind. You know, David's music does something to me that's not really an easy feat. It makes me so happy and makes me so sad simultaneously. And that's, again, such an interesting pocket to be in. Beautiful chords in this one lush sounds everywhere uh, so moving so moody gentle subtle heartbreak vibes in his music certainly in this song i believe it was the chorus that was a tad brighter the only uh, part of the song that had some brightness very subtle brightness to it i'll take that then this beautiful saxophone comes in i loved what it did in this song it was wondrous it was smooth very gentle melody going on throughout with what the sax was playing. You know, saxophone often is big and bold when it just kind of charges into a song. But here it was, again, gentle, you know, beautiful, but very gentle, smooth, and fitting. You know, it didn't overpower the music. It just matched the level of the music, and I really appreciated that. And then, of course, that deep, rich voice of David plays such a big part in so much the emotion the captivation the heartbreak the hypnotic nature of it all i really love his voice it's so unique so deep so passionate a little bit mysterious haunting at times many other adjectives just superb again just like the other songs i heard last time this was so atmospheric i just love that aspect among everything else i've talked about and I wrote down, will he break my heart in every song? Probably not, but I think he's going to do it in the majority of them. I think we've all had those moments where we're either, you know, sitting down, laying down, curled in bed, and just either crying or just really in deep thought, um, pondering life's challenges, struggles, obstacles. And it seems like those deep moments in our lives are put into a song, a song like this. And I think he captures those moments brilliantly and, again, expertly delivers them through these emotional, deep, introspective songs. And, of course, that's why I love it. And I also appreciate that the saxophone, you know, was plentiful from its debut in the song all the way till the very end. It was doing so much, again, subtle, gentle, but doing so much to add to the mood. So many moods here. Wow. Deeply introspective. Deeply beautiful 
deeply emotional, deeply epic. Therefore, it's getting the Epic Platinum Record Award, of course, for Silver Moon by David Sylvian, 1986. All right, on to Wanderlust comes from Dead Bees on a Cake. What a title. His fifth studio album, which peaked at number 31 in the UK. It's a song about wandering and exploration, both in the world and within oneself, and desiring both freedom and connection on life's journey.
Turn the headlights on for I wanna take in it all And let it wash over me The bridge looks so high From the banks that we climb That we climb them so that we could be free Give me no dreams of what the future brings I need to know when I have gone too far oh, Repeated lightning strikes Up and down the spine They search us out wherever we are In a world full of lies The tug at the truth Taking no sides Now I recognize you Play it songs i'm telling you there's such intoxicating experiences musical intoxication emotional intoxication they just put you in such a unique headspace the place it puts you it's so rewarding so beautiful yes it was a different place than the first song where i was at but i was loving where i was at i love that his songs are not short lets me stay in that place for a while just pure bliss. Again, nothing too bright or happy. I don't mind that. You know, I love the darkness, the calm serenity, the introspection here, the jazzy vibes. It's all just beautiful. Yeah, a bit jazzy vibe in this one, at least to my ears. Of course, I love that. Incredible vocals. I've already gushed on the first song, but they were excellent here as well. Very angsty in this one. Uh, shades of Jeff Buckley. Heck yes. I love Jeff. His voice is beyond incredible. One of the best vocal uh, discoveries I've made on this channel. And I got shades of him in this song. Wow. Two excellent vocalists. A uh, very intimate vocal delivery as well. The vocals are so intoxicating. I think the way he sings is like a vocal spell. Uh, coming out of his mouth and then, you know, gliding, sliding about through the air slowly into our ears, into my ears to disgrace us with that uh, gliding, smooth, flowy, mysterious, beautiful, etc. tone. I love it. At one point towards the middle, I heard this kind of uh, booming sound, sound effect. Not sure what it was, what was being recorded, what instrument was playing it. Anyway, I love that I couldn't identify that. It just added to the vibe, the beauty of the song, but it also added to the atmosphere and the mystery. Since I had no idea what I was hearing, I just know that I liked what I was hearing. Also, the electric piano was amazing in this one. It almost felt like sensual, kind of mysterious. It added a bit of groove to the song, came in at all the right spots. Really love that. And I think I even heard some organ too. In fact, I know I did because there was some cool organ slides going on. Wow. Uh, may have come from a keyboard, but those two sounds, those two tones were absolutely brilliant in this song. Fit perfectly like a glove. Sometimes songs have a lot of peaks and valleys like I always talk about. 
Sometimes they only have one big peak and then back to the valley. Like in this case, there was a ramp up around the 65 to 70 percent mark. You know, the urgency went up, the volume went up, appreciated that, but then it slid right back down to where it was in the whole first part of the song. And of course, I love that. Insanely good instrumentation and vocals to the very end. Overall, a very sensual song in my opinion. I think a lot of it had to do with the tempo, the way the instruments were being played, and definitely the way he was singing. Another amazing one. Can't wait for more. He's got such a big catalog. Plus Japan and all of their work. Wow. I'm in for a long journey with David Sylvian. I'm going to give this one five super shiny golden records, an A plus for Wanderlust by David Sylvian, 1999. And thank you so very much, David Sylvian and everyone else involved in these two amazing songs. All right, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. If you wish to chat about these two, I would love to know what you think. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past. Oh.